B. For type 1 integrals, the region extended infinitely in horizontal direction. If you remember, it is a plus infinite or minus infinite or between that two. That plus infinite toward positive x-axis, minus infinite toward negative x-axis, say horizontal direction. But over here, we are considering vertical directions. Thus mean at x is equals to a function is not defined or at x is equals to b function is not defined, which are horizontal directions. The area of the part of S between A and T is area of that part is A to T fx dx. Consider B minus something between A and B function is given where x is equal to B is point of singularity. Does mean B minus something. Over here I'm, I have considered T. Let us say delta. And that gives A to B fx dx is equal to limit. T tends to B minus. B minus does mean B minus something, A to T, Fx, Dx. Similarly, if, if at x is equals to A, function is not defined, we can consider A plus something, very small number, let us say T, over there I consider delta, 2 up to B, and that gives A to B, Fx, Bx, sorry, A to B, Fx, Dx is equals to A to B fx dx is equals to B, sorry, A minus delta, A plus delta fx dx. Now, let us consider A less than C less than B, less than B. It does mean F has discontinuity at C, where C lies between A and B, is not equals to A, is not equals to B, it lies between A and B, and at C, function is not defined. That is why let us consider two integrals a to c fx dx, c to b fx dx. At c function is not defined, that gives a to c minus something and c plus something to up to b, where function is greater or equal to 0 and has vertical asymptotes. In type 1, it was horizontal asymptotes at a and c respectively. Let us consider some examples, uh, 2 to 5, 2 to 5, 1 upon under root x minus 2 dx. When x tends to 2, putting x is equal to 2 over here, you will get 1 upon 0 and 1 upon 0 tends to infinite does mean fx 1 upon under root x minus 2 tends to infinite such that x is equals to 2 is point of singularity we can consider 2 to 5 1 upon under root x minus 2 dx say improper integral type 2 as 2 plus something if you consider if you remember this is a plus delta a is 2 over here where delta tends to 0, 2 up to 5, x minus 2 raised to minus 1 by 2 dx, given function. Limit delta tends to 0. Integration of x minus 2 raised to minus half is x minus 2 raised to minus half plus 1 is plus half over half between 2 plus delta to 5 is equals to limit delta tends to 0 1 by 1 by 2 is 2 putting 5 in place of x we will get 5 minus 2 rest to 1 by 2 minus putting 2 plus delta in place of x will get 2 plus delta minus 2 rest to 1 by 2 is equals to limit delta tends to 0 2 times 5 minus 2 rest to 1 by 2 is equals to 3 raised to 1 by 2 minus plus 2 minus 2 cancel and we'll get delta raised to 1 by 2 where delta is equals to 0 delta tends to 0 gives 2 times 
3 raised to 1 by 2 minus 0 is equals to 2 into 3 raised to 1 by 2 which is finite indicates 2 to 5 1 upon under root x minus 2 dx is CGT let us say convergent similarly let us consider some other examples of uh, type 2 improper integrals before that uh, let us move to the slides to the PPTs this is the solution of a given term that is 2 root 3 gives integral is convergent see this is the graph of uh, 1 upon under root x minus 2 between 2 and 5 and at 2 over here uh, sorry at 2 function is not defined they have considered 2 plus something see that red line of the graph and blue line of the graph vertical asymptote which are not intersecting each other and that is why it is said to be asymptote the shaded region the colored region is area of the function area of 1 upon under root x minus 2 between 2 to 5 and that is 2 root 3 and that is why it is convergent another example 0 to pi by 2 a uh, sec theta if you put pi by 2 in place of x we will get sec pi by 2 where sec pi by 2 is not defined it tends to infinite does mean that pi by 2 function is not defined at b function is not defined we can consider pi by 2 minus something 0 to that term let us say t sec x dx integration of sec x dx is log mode sec plus 10 between 0 to t as same as previous when putting t in place of x putting 0 in place of x i will get log sec plus 10 minus log 1 log 1 is 0 and if we put pi by 2 in place of t here you will get infinite log infinite is infinite that is why this term tends to infinite infinite gives divergent integral that does mean given improper integral is divergent similarly uh, suppose we are given 0 to 3 dx upon x minus 2 let us solve that example 0 to 3 dx upon x minus 1 see when x tends to 1 where 1 belongs to 0 to 3 open interval 0 to 3 1 is not equals to 0 1 is not equals to 3 function 1 upon x minus 1 tends to infinite and such that x is equals to 1 is point of singularity 0 to 3 dx upon x minus 1 is improper integral as at 1 function is not defined let us consider 1 minus something 1 plus something y axis say x is equals to 0 x is equals to 1 2 and say x is equals to 3 over here this is x is equals to 0 x is equals to 3 assuming this function is equals to y is equals to f of x at this point at x is equals to 1 over here function is not defined that is why 0 to 1 minus something and 1 plus something to 3 we can convert improper integral into proper integral in that way again 0 minus something sorry 1 minus something 1 plus something so over here that gives 0 to 1 minus delta 1 upon x minus 1 dx plus 1 plus delta 1 plus something 1 plus delta 2 3 1 upon x minus 1 dx say delta 1 and delta 2 limit delta 1 tends to 0 limit delta 2 tends to 0 does mean now this improper integral is proper integral let us evaluate the integral limit delta 1 tends to 0 integration of 1 upon x minus 1 is log mode denominator log x minus 1 because differentiation of x minus 1 is 1 which lies in numerator that is why log mode denominator between 0 to 
1 minus delta 1. Similarly, limit delta 2 tends to 0. Integration of that term is log mode denominator between 1 plus delta 2, 2 up to 3. And that gives limit delta 1 tends to 0. Putting both limits in place of x, I will get log 1 minus delta 1 minus 1 minus log x is 0 will get minus 1 in fact log negative is not defined plus limit delta 2 tends to 0 putting 3 in place of x and 1 plus delta 2 in place of x will get log 3 minus 1 minus log 1 plus delta 2 minus 1 is equals to limit delta 1 tends to 0 log minus delta 1 1 1 cancel uh, 1 minus 1 cancel minus log minus 1 plus limit delta 2 tends to 0 I will get log 2 over here log 2 is well defined 1 and minus 1 cancel get log delta 2 over there if we replace delta 2 is equals to 0 we will get log 0 and I told you that log 0 tends to minus infinite. This one is not defined. It tends to infinite. Similarly, if we put delta 1 is equal to 0, we will get log minus 0. Log minus 0 is 0. Tends to minus infinite. In general, integral tends to infinite. Let us say integral is divergent. What geometrically it represents? Let us say in PPT. Let us see in PPT. This is the simplification of uh, a given example between 0 to 1 and 1 to 3. 1 minus something, 1 plus something. It tends to negative infinite. Does mean 0 to 1. 1 upon x minus 1 dx is divergent. No need to evaluate 1 to 3, 1 upon x minus 1. Let us consider another example that uh, asymptote x is equals to 7 in example number 7 what I mean to say is that 0 to 3 1 upon x minus 1 is not directly log mode denominator between 0 to 3 because at 1 given function is not defined does mean directly we cannot integrate the term directly you cannot write log mode denominator between 0 to 3 that gives log 2 but this is not proper because you cannot evaluate improper integral directly first of all convert that improper integral into proper integral and then evaluate the integral this means this is a wrong concept this is wrong because the integral is improper and must be calculated in terms of limits after converting into proper limits after converting into proper integral from now uh, whenever you meet uh, the symbols a to b f x dx you must decide by looking at the function f on that particular interval say closed a to b whether it is an ordinary definite integral or improper integral if it is ordinary definite integral simply evaluate no need to convert into proper because it is already improper but if it is improper integral, either use type 1 improper integral or use type 2 improper integral and convert that improper integral into proper integral and then evaluate that integral. These are some examples of uh, improper integral type 2. If we put 0 over here in place of x, log 0 is not defined, this means at 0 function is not defined. Simplification, again we are getting... Uh, indeterminate form over here if we solve that in indeterminate form by l hospital rule we'll get 0 and simplifying gives this improper integral is equals to minus 1 as an area which is finite say integral is convergent this is what geometrical interpretation of y is equals to log x this is the graph of y is equals to log x between say limit is 0 to 1 between 0 to 1 we will get this area which is 
finite say minus 1 and that's why this integral is proper integral so uh, that is what uh, all about improper integrals we can discuss more examples of improper integral this is what improper integral type 1 and type 2 are so that's it thank you all Sandham All Gujarat Integrated Classroom Satellite na madhyam thi jod thi kadi etle Sandham